All right, let's check out the coffee room. I really don't let people see this too much. This is kind of where we do our toys. And yeah, there's our bikes. And we, we like to keep moving and, you know, have simple pleasures. But this is where um, a lot of the parts I keep and a lot of Bellmans. I've really done a lot of Bellman work and repairing them and uh, selling them over the years before I really got into La Pavonis too. But here's my... Um, Specialty tools for the La Pavone for getting the heating elements and bottoms off. Most are all homemade or a simple tool bot. I do have one really good tool, but that helped out. And then there's my little torch. You don't, you know, you don't need a big expensive setup and a big machine shop to do a lot of stuff. That's that little torch does really good. And there's some old bottoms and rubber parts. And yeah, there's my old Cuisinart. I'm going to have to get that out. It's been sitting around for maybe 10 years. I don't know. And then um, this is where I keep our camping stuff. The, this one is the big one we use, like if we're going to go and make dinner somewhere. That's what we'll take with a bell bit in there. And uh, yeah, we got some nice pots. So that's our little self-contained ready to go. And then the little mini duffel bag, I keep like a mocha pot. And the stuff, if we're going to a beach where we walk in a little bit, we're not, you know, right near the car. And then here's my La Pavoni toolbox. So you can, it's all parts. I, I, shown it before but yeah i keep all my little la pavoni gaskets and parts in there it's getting a little short on the big parts and then it's just a simple toolbox these are the tools i use i can do everything with them um, these are my household tools i don't use these at work these are just for the house and really for the coffee machines i'm gonna keep I have a few different pliers and wrenches and things like that and then i have these these bags are actually made from old british army tents from world war ii but one has my wrenches, the other has the screwdriver collection. And I'll add my big breaker bar in there and, you know, just everything I use, some of the longer extensions for the wrenches and, and that kind of stuff. Then I have all kinds of swivels and adapters for my um, other tools for the ratchet set so you can get different things out. Sometimes you need like two swivels to get some of those nuts on the inside if they're at a weird angle for some reason. But yeah, that's my little toolbox. And then these are all the things. Um, most of these are my older collections. Most of them are up for sale on our Etsy site. All kinds of different um, semi mocha pot, bell bins, a bunch of really nice ones. Some AMA Milanos, the big and little ones. And there we go. And uh, yeah, of course, these are the Sport Press. So they're highly collectible. Those are um, not so much used as they're a value for a collection because it's like a little puzzle. But I may do another show on those too. So. Yeah, that's our room. We have our. We like to ride bikes when we're not surfing, and then these are just our little puffy stand-up boards, those kind of funky ones. Not expensive ones, but we have fun on those sometimes when there's downtime and no waves. And yeah, and then here's all the La Pavonis. These are the ones I've been running close to 20 years. I've rebuilt some of them two and three times, but yeah, we've worked on almost all of them on the show. There's Doctor Who, my first kind of theme machine. And there's the one with the PPK and all that. That's down there. That's a, just a classic machine. Here's the steam whistle one. I get that out on the holidays and things like that. I like that machine. And then there's the, the next row is a classic. We, Simplicity here, we did her on the show. There's Misty Blue, my very first um, really redo. And that machine has been uh, copied more than any other one ever. But so I'm pretty proud of that. You just constantly see little bits of it. There's the red one, experiments, and there's Green Jean. She's always doing good. We might run her a little bit. We've seen that on the show too. So yeah, we've done them all. There's Now the red one came out good. That one may have to come out. It's kind of virginal. It's been waiting to operate. And just a variety of porta filters I keep on hand and little experimental tops I do for fun. And yeah, these are the three new projects going to come out. Another red base. Um, but this is like a newer base, and I think I might just do this as a kind of a mini theme. Yeah, you know what I mean? There we go. So I have an idea that may not be the end, but I'm thinking of doing something like that when, with that base when I get it all going. And yeah, of course, good old Misty Blue. The very first um, redo I did. This machine has been amazing enough copied so many times, but it's, everyone always pops, look at this. But anyway, here it is. This one's probably 15 years ago or more I did that. But you can get those little stickers on Etsy too. No big deal. It just helps us um, survive and not get in shopping carts. But yeah, there's all the La Pavonis. That's how I know a lot about them. I've run all these and rebuilt them quite a few times. And I've 
used all kinds of different modifications and you know kind of went through the whole cycle but yeah pretty cool they're all those carts are on wheels in case i do need to roll them out in case we need someone to stay in the room but yeah there it is that's a fun room that's where we keep the toys at and um, i keep most of my uh, machines in there only a few out of course there's good old bob marley and then this is just that their little kind of the decorative wall that set hat my sister made me and then I have the trebuchet I used to use during Game of Thrones where we made coffee and just a few different steam engine things when I was working on that and just some little items that I've been given over the years that I kind of keep around and then my funny painting of the funny lady so that's it yeah <laughs> it's pretty cool so anyway that's the little happy room of La Pavonis and um yeah you got to see it hard no one ever gets to see this but there it goes. That's it for you. And wait till the next show about cat trading. <laughs>